We're going to be diving into a bunch of different tips and tricks, including color changing and replacement. We're going to want to maybe change the color of, let's say, the couch. Select this image here. There are many ways to change colors in Photoshop. Let's say your selection tool, maybe the object selection tool, for example. The object selection tool is currently looking for all the objects. And what we can do now is we can hover over top of them and it's going to allow us to select. We can select the pillows itself, the painting up here, you now this object over here, and it does a decent job. We can go ahead and click on this to select this object. And then what we can do is we can create a new layer and then maybe we want this to be blue. Take a blue brush, make it larger, paint over top of it, and we have a blue couch. There we go, all done, obviously not. Once you have an object painted, the magic of blend modes is that you can really start to dial that in a little bit. So as you hover over top, you're obviously noticing some of them are okay, some of them not so great. A lot of it depends on the color of the tones of the object below it. But down at the bottom, you have your hue, saturation, and color options. These are kind of where you're gonna start to see something happen. It looks okay. So that's one way to do it, a little bit unnatural. What I would do is we can actually go back if we wanted to, to the area where we have the selection of this couch. Down at the bottom, we might want to try out our adjustment layer. So something like hue and saturation, for example. And this will allow us to really kind of shift this over. We can also use the colorize option down at the bottom. If I bump this up, it's not bad. We can adjust the lightness. And the nice thing about having this adjustment layer with the layer mask is we can now dive in and add additional adjustments. So if we wanted to adjust the lighting a little bit with curves, we can very easily do that. And what you're noticing now, it's by default applying that adjustment to the entire image. What we can do is right click on this adjustment layer and then create clipping mask. You can hold down your alter option key, hover in between and click. That'll make sure that's applied only to that particular layer down below. I will see you all next time. Thanks everyone.